In this section, we're going to go over some of the advanced in-call features available to you, including hold, transfer, and conference. First, we're going to look at the hold function. This feature is especially handy when you're either taking another call on another line, or you have to leave the phone for a moment. Let's show how it works. In this case, I'm in the middle of a call with Bob, and I need to put the call on hold for a moment. To do so, I simply press the hold key. To return to the call, I just press the hold key again, or I can press OK on the reconnect prompt that shows on the screen. And now the call is back in action. When you've put a call on hold and you need to take a longer break, you can actually put the handset back on the rest. The LED on the hold key flickers and the display reminds you that the call is still being held. To take the call off hold, I pick up the handset again and then once again press hold or OK. Now we're going to talk about the conference feature. It's a very typical business situation where you're engaged in a one-to-one -one call and you have to bring in more people to that call. The number of parties you can have in a conference will vary depending on the system setup. The OpenScape DeskPhone IP35G itself supports three-party conferencing. However, the communication system the IP phone is connected to will make it possible to dramatically increase the number of people engaged in the conference. For today, we're simply going to focus on configuring three-party conferencing that's available through the phone. Let's show how it works. To set up three-party conferencing while you're engaged in a call, you simply use the conference key. As soon as you hear a dial tone, you dial the extension you want to call and press OK. As soon as that call picks up, press the conference key one more time and we all three are instantly put into a three-way conference. That's all it took. Now we're going to discuss the transfer feature. There are a number of times when one simply can't answer a question or is the wrong person to carry a call further. In these cases, it's really important to be able to instantly transfer the call towards the right person. The OpenScape DeskPhone IP35G features different methods for making call transfers. The first way is known as the attended transfer, in which you're actually able to make the call to the second party, hear their voice, and then transfer the call. Second is what is known as the semi-attended transfer, in which you transfer the call as soon as you hear the phone ringing. First, let's look at attended transfers. They're extremely easy to do, and now we're going to show you how it works. To perform an attended transfer, the best method is to use the transfer key. Simply press the key and then dial the extension and press OK. I hear the call going through and as soon as the person picks up, I confirm and press transfer again. The call has now been transferred away and I can hang up. Now let's look at a semi-attended transfer. To perform a semi-attended transfer, it's almost the exact same as attended transfers. During the call, I press the transfer key, and then when I hear a dial tone, I dial the extension and press OK. As soon as I hear the phone dialing, I just press transfer again, knowing that the call has been made. I then hang up and go on with my day. Let's talk about call forwarding. Call forwarding is useful when you're going to be away from your desk, but you still want calls to be able to reach you. Let's show how it's done with the forward button. To set call forwarding, simply press the forward button and then under accept, press OK. By default, the phone will remember the last number that call forwarding was set to and will forward all calls to that number and that will show up in your menu bar. To deactivate call forwarding, simply press the forward button again and your phone will resume normal operation. To set call forwarding to a different number, press the forward button and then scroll down to set a forwarding destination. Hit OK and then dial the extension and press OK. Call forwarding will now go to the new number instead of the original number that you had set. To set more advanced call forwarding behavior, I start by pressing the forward key. Then scroll down to edit call forwarding and press OK. Then I can either stay by the default of all calls being handled the same or 
I can set different call forwarding behavior depending on if the line is busy or there's no reply. To do so, I start by scrolling down to busy and pressing OK. The first option I get is to turn it on and I say OK one more time. Now all calls will go to this number that is displayed on the screen when, calls are, when the phone is busy. Then I scroll down to no reply and then press OK and OK again to turn it on. And now whenever there's no reply, all calls will be forwarded to this number. Now, if I want to change the number that calls are being forwarded to, either when the phone is busy or there's no reply, I scroll towards busy and hit OK, and then scroll down again to enter destination. Pressing OK, I then enter the new destination and press the OK button one more time. And now, all, all busy calls will be forwarded to this destination instead. I can then do the same thing for no reply. Once you've done this, you'll have set a policy whereby all calls will be forwarded to different destinations depending on the circumstance. Another advanced option you can set to make call forwarding even easier is done by pressing OK and then scrolling down to Edit Favorites. I can use Edit Favorites when I want to add a few numbers that I typically will be going to and have calls going to them. So to do so, I go down to 1 and press OK and then enter the extension and then press OK again to confirm. Then scroll down to number 2 and enter that number. And you'll do this as many times for as many favorites as you need. At this point, you now have a list of numbers that can form a quick list that you can set anytime you want to set call forwarding. This way, you don't have to manually enter it each time.